Hey, what's up? So, here's the thing. Bought a new controller the other day. Eh. And I'm having a little bit of a problem. I cannot connect it to my PS4. Lovely. I actually had the same problem with this controller here. Eh. When I first got it, this is an older generation PS4 controller. I bought it refurbished, just like this one is. I see a pattern. But anyways, um, so I started watching some videos, and people were saying you just gotta, you gotta press and hold these two buttons together, and you leave it, and you connect it to your PlayStation after it's done blinking, and supposedly, it's supposed to work. I tried it. Didn't work. Um, I did the same thing with this one, same problem, didn't work. I turned the PlayStation off, connected the controller to the PlayStation with the cord, tried to turn it on that way, it did not connect to the PlayStation. I pressed the reset button for 10 to 15 seconds, same thing with this controller, and it did not do it. So, all these videos that I'm watching, I'm noticing that there is a recurring pattern that basically everybody says to do the same thing but there's not a single video out there that I've seen yet that explains what to do if that doesn't work so this is basically me showing you what I did so as you can see my PlayStation is currently off the wire plugged in is only my splitter so I don't have a wire connected to the PlayStation I'll bring this over here Eh. Nothing. Not a single thing. It's just going to sit there and blink. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. I have now plugged this bad boy in. And still nothing. Nothing. PlayStation is not turning on. It's connected. Nothing happening. So we're just gonna, eh, eh. So yeah, disconnected that. So I do have this controller, which now that I've fixed it, boop, turns the PlayStation on, okay? So now we wait. Okay, so I have my PlayStation turned on now. I apologize for the bad quality. My phone is not the best. But we have PlayStation turned on with this controller, so we're going to actually use this controller to fix this controller. So as I showed, um, you know, plugging the controller in didn't work. Uh, like I said, I've tried pressing these two buttons, I've tried using the reset button. Nothing is working. So the one thing that I tried was you have one controller already connected to the PlayStation, and you bring this controller with you. Okay, so we have two controllers, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to head over to the system settings. We're going to go down to devices, and then we're going to go to Bluetooth devices. So it shows here that I have two controllers currently able to be connected to my PlayStation. So we have this one, and this one currently connected. So that's those two that you see there. There's a blue or a green dot because this one is currently connected. This one's not actually connected. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll to the bottom. Now that looks like it's the bottom. Okay. So you take this controller and this is where you're going to use those two buttons to your advantage. We're going to go ahead and press these two buttons until you start getting the flash like that. Once you get that flash, you sit and you wait a moment. Alright, and now that I've waited a moment, you can see that there's now a third DualShock 4 option. So you're going to go ahead and press X on that. And it's going to want you if you want to register the Bluetooth device. Hit yes. And boom! We got ourselves a connected controller.
it's working. There you have it. So anybody who gets confused, if it doesn't work by plugging it in, just hit these two buttons while you have your Bluetooth option set up, and uh, it should work perfectly fine. Thank you.